right, moving on this Monday. We gotta talk about something that I don't know a lot of kids wanna talk about. Going back to school. It's happening. It is, it is. The lists are so long, right? And you think, all right, back to school shopping, it's just pens, pencils, and notebooks. Oh, but no. no, it's clothes, it's shoes, it's on and on and on. And it adds up too, doesn't mm -hmm. it? So on this Get Moving Monday, we are going to be talking with an expert. We have tips not only how to best shop back to school, but how to save money while doing it. When it comes to saving money and going back to school, you need to have a plan. You do. There's so much you need to buy. With school supplies, I really think you should take an inventory. I mean, when I went through what my kids had, we already have mm -hmm. a pencil box. My daughter needs this to carry her reading book. I mean, we have all kinds of things left over from last year. So start by figuring that out so you're not rebuying what you need. And then you also need to figure out, what do I need to get through the entire year? And now what's the best way to approach buying those actual supplies? Because it depends on where you go. It really does. And I make it really easy. On my website, every week now through Labor Day, I do a price comparison chart. So I've got 60 different school supply items. And I lay out the prices at 12 different national retailers. And then I highlight in green, who's got the lowest price this week? And then I'm telling you what's the lowest price we've seen this season. And then I'm even comparing it to the lowest price we saw last year so you can get a sense, hmm, maybe we'll see a price drop in the weeks to come. And it's not just about the supplies, it's also about clothes, yes. shoes. Those are big ticket yeah. items. And really, it's the opposite advice of what I'd say about school supplies. Don't buy everything right now. And really, there's two reasons. One, lots of families go into debt because this is an expensive time of year. So don't do it. Just buy what you need for clothes and shoes to get started. And then remember that all of this stuff that's new on the racks right now is going to be clearanced in six to eight weeks. Before you head out, consider buying discounted gift cards. So you can buy an electronic gift card. Buy a couple of those gift cards for the places you're headed out. You can combine that then with sales and other coupons that you may have to maximize the discounts. What about thrift shopping when it comes to clothes? I like to buy used things for my kids. I hate scouring the racks <laughs> it takes at thrift stores. Time it does, yeah. and so God bless the internet because there are websites now that really make it easy. Schoola.com, ThreadUp.com, Kindermint.com. They're like online consignment stores. Mm -hmm. So I get the used clothes prices with the beauty of internet shopping where I can filter by size and color and then it ships right to my door. Oh, that last one's That's awesome. awesome. Great tip. So, yeah, because the time that it takes to thrift shop is just, it can do they have it for adults? <laughs> you know what? That's a good question. I do know of a couple. Thread Flip is a good okay. one for adults. I've used that one a little bit. I've sold some stuff and bought some stuff from there. So that's just a little oh, side thank note thank for you. Thank you for the fun You're welcome. For Thread me. Flip. Yeah, so uh, Carrie says that overall this year, supplies are more expensive than last year. So it's not your imagination if you notice that yes, if you've already are. started yeah. shopping. Absolutely. <laughs> and the price comparison chart is at WCCO.com slash links. Also on Carrie Hasha's money-saving blog. It's called PocketYourDollars.com. I also love that she She's local mm -hmm. and she's doing all this stuff in the Twin Cities so it's nice to support local and she also has really the insider information that's going to be uh, important to us and she posts all sorts of money savings tips and tricks. Very cool. Well you were out shopping this weekend Jason 40% off a couple places while you're out doing that yourselves a reminder that there are still a few days left in our latest accomplished Minnesota campaign. Simon says give. We are collecting school supplies. We'd like you to donate some for the nonprofit. Uh, Simon says give. This helps kids out that are in need. To find out where to give, just go to WCCO.com slash accomplish MN. Yep, they're collecting backpacks and school supplies and all sorts of stuff. And They've done well, but you can always use a little more help, yeah, right? Always. A couple more kids get what they need. Uh,